Would a deck like this require a guardrail? And that's the question of the day. Only if, and this is uh, a biggie here, you would only need a guardrail if the height from the soil level, the top of the grade, um, the measurement from the top of the grade to the top of the deck, top of the porch, is more than 30 inches. Now this is a standard building code, but I do need to point out this might not might not be a building code in your area. And this, of course, is a big problem with uh, some of the videos that I make, you know, or even in your country, you know. So keep that in mind. I live in Southern California, and for the most part, this is uh, a is applicable. But again, like I said, you can go from city to city and have different different rules. And another thing I'd like to point out is most guardrails um, that are protective need to be 42 inches in height, overall height, and that measurement would be from the top of the decking, the top of the porch or the floor, to the top of the guardrail. <clears throat> that would be the vertical distance up and down. Another thing I'd like to point out is most building codes um, require that you cannot put a four inch round ball through any part of the guardrail. So if you let's just say you had a four inch tennis ball, you, which I'm not suggesting a tennis ball is four inches, but if you had a four inch tennis ball, a four inch round spear, you could not place it through any section of the guardrail. So to break that one down, no part of the handrail will be um, larger than four inches, um, if, if that helps. Again, sometimes when I explain something, I try and cover, it might sound like I'm explaining uh, something to a kindergartner, but uh, in some cases, uh, this information is really hard to digest. So if you have any questions about um, this video, guard railing or hand railing, um, go, feel free to leave a comment. Or, yeah, better yet, if you're going to build something like this in your area, contact your local building department. They will be able to provide you with current information. And again, that goes back to some of the problems we have with these videos is, uh, you know, you might be watching a video that was made in 2013, um, 20 years from now, and uh, they might have completely different building codes by then. But I would imagine if uh, unless you're if you're on YouTube you're not going to be watching because they'll have replacement videos uh, these things are getting replaced at a rapid rate so videos of mine today might not be watched um, by many viewers five years from now but you can keep that from happening hit me with a couple of thumbs up uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and if you don't like the video feel free to go somewhere else right there's nobody holding you here get out of here if you don't like them if you do keep watching them